see his arrow up ahead. Just need to get caught up. Oh, spider. How did he get past the spider? He must have walked right by it. Okay. Uh, common soul gem. Enchanter. This actually might come in handy. Disenchant. Actually, there's nothing I don't already have. Never mind. Unless I get, I did give a bunch of stuff to Carl, though. I think some of those books I might be able to sell. More vampires. Can't seem to catch up to him. Oh, there he is. Hello? Who's there? No one. Do your worst. to attack because I don't want to hit um, Barbus with another fireball. No, don't run. Okay. Now, lockpicks. Oh, I didn't want that weapon. What weapon was that? I just picked up that one there. Let's put that back. Okay. Fledgling. By the twin moons. Master Vampire had some elven armor. Vampire dust. Oh, that reminds me. Didn't I get some really good elven armor a little while ago or something? Apparel. Yeah, 41. Whereas the ones I was before. Oh, wait, no, but never mind, never mind. I'm wearing the Archmage robes. That's right. Uh, Imperial lockpick. Uh, let's quick save before we do this. Activate the shrine. Lord Vile, I have a request of you. By all means, let's hear it. It's the least I could do since you already helped me grant one final wish for my last worshippers. They were suffering so from vampirism and begged me for a cure. Then you came and ended their misery. I couldn't have planned it better myself. So... What's your heart's desire? What kind of deal can we strike? Um... I'm just here to reunite you with Barbus. Uh, that insufferable pup! Forget it! Request denied! No deal! I'm glad to be rid of him. Even if it does mean I'm stuck in this pitiful shrine in the back end of nowhere well perhaps there is a way he could earn his place back at my side maybe but no promises what's your There's offer an axe an incredibly powerful axe an axe powerful enough for me to have Quite a bit of fun, indeed. If you bring it to me, I'll grant you my boon. No strings attached, no messy surprises. At least not for you. As I Ooh. recall, it's resting in Rhyme Rock Burrow. Barbers can lead you right to it. Little Mutt might even earn his place back at my side. Cool. Oh, let's go get that treasure chest. Uh, we've got an elven staff, uh, elven war axe of fear. Um, 30% better bows. Flames gold and a grand staff charming. All of these things are worth quite a bit of gold. Uh, what's the story behind the axe? One of Clavicus's little chests. A wizard named Sebastian Lord had a daughter who worshipped her seed. When the daughter became a werewolf, it drove Sebastian over the edge. He couldn't stand to see his little girl take on such a bestial form. The wizard wished for the ability to end his daughter's curse. <laughs> Clavicus gave him an axe. Okay. Um, Carl, I don't think you can you hold much more, can you? 
I will show there some of your uh, burning. weapons. Oh, we can take the Grand Staff of Charming, though. And... Oh, Grand Staff... Wait, why is that a... Quest items cannot be removed from your inventory. Why is that a quest item? Oh, whatever. Take the Orcish Dagger and the Elven Dagger, then. And that'll get me back into a good weight. The only issue, though, is that I won't be able to pick anything else up. I really need to go see another merchant and get rid of a lot of this junk again and just put some of it in a chest, but um, for the time being... Oh, wait, no. If uh, Carl would catch up here, I could check and see if any of the stuff I've given him I can disenchant. Carl? There you go. Come on, keep up. Now, uh, if I check all I the stuff I've given you, I know I have fire. I don't know if I have that or that or that or that one or that one. That should be good enough. Let's just check if any of these things can be disenchanted. Uh, disenchanting. That one there, Dwarven Shield of Blocking, we can get rid of that. And that's it. Now I have to put everything back on him, but that is like 13 pounds or so that I back. saved. I will show there some of um, your burden. And I think I took something I didn't mean to. Ah, well let me give that to him for some reason. Okay, and we're good. Kajit will follow. Now I'm gonna run all the way back into this cave. Was there no quicker exit? I don't think there was. On my way out of the cave I found this adept chest. Um in a room I guess I didn't check before. Uh, I'm failing pretty hard at opening it though, but it's getting my lock picking up though, just at the cost of a couple of lock picks. And there ish, come on. There we go. And I got lock picking to 50, so now I can't equip that item apparently. That's dumb. There we go, take it. Uh, skills. Lock picking. We can now go for adept locks. And that's pretty much as far as I really want to go up the tree. I mean, I might get expert and master, um, but probably not. But I'm mainly going for this one. So now, next up, we'll get gold touch at 60 and then treasure hunter at 70. Yeah, there's this little room here to the back uh, end of this room okay and where exactly do I need to go next uh, journal I still have it on my quest so which one of these many arrows is the one I'm actually heading to uh, that one's cleansing there's just a bunch of them visit the museum in Dawnstar wow that axe couldn't be much further away I don't think even if it tried. Alright, um, so this should be the closest location. We'll head north from here. And I believe it's this one. This is the arrow I'm heading towards. Should be quite a long journey through the woods, but... Maybe I'll just try and stop off and grab a couple locations as I go. I might not actually do them, but... At least get them on my map. It's actually a pretty straight shot so far. Although I think I jinxed it because I believe this is a giant mountain in front of me. Yep. Whoa! I think that was a bear. Couldn't really tell that well. And of course I'm going up a slope so I'm not going to be able to dismount as long as I'm climbing. Although... I don't know if the bear can actually keep up. 
with this crazy climbing skills. Seriously, how do I get over? No, I'm not going to be able to get... At this slope is too steep, even for Steve Daves. I'm pretty sure. Oh, maybe not. Oh, oh, no, Steve Daves proved me wrong. Too bad it cost him his life. <laughs> 